Regular Dave was not convinced that Medamora was involved in the drone strike, but no one was listening to him. For their minds was made up and there was no turning back. Now, Echidna never leaves his underground lair, so it's going to be complex in killing him. But one thing is that Echidna comes out at least once in a week for medical checkup with his doctor. And boy, Echidna is ugly. Maybe this is one of the reasons he never comes out in public. Anyways, so they made out a plan on how to get to Echidna when next he visits his doctor. And they told Rankin to stay in the safe house for his own safety. It was set. Everyone in position, ready to strike and waiting for the appointed time. Chad Fingerman sniped two of Echidna's men standing outside. Remember, Taipan. Well, he is the head of Echidna's security detail and also the top hitman for Medamora. As soon as he heard the gunshot, he and his men went into swift action of defense. It was a raid as the assassins struck every member of Medamora they came across. They were not holding back. The twin used a sword and her gun, smoke shooting everything at sight. Maxwell and F. Tackington smashing their way through the gangs and trying to get to Echidna, whom ordered Taipan to handle the situation. Without them noticing, Taipan released a grenade which exploded and killed Connie the tank and F. Tackington dived at smoke for cover from the explosion. The top assassins were overwhelmed for Taipan and his gangs were gaining ground as Maxwell Bishop asked Fingerman for assistance, who began to shoot and kill men surrounding Taipan, whom in retaliation threw a stone at Fingerman who fell and lost his balance. The twin in anger appeared from nowhere and killed two Medamora members while striking at Taipan who felt no effect of her punches. Dave noticed that Echidna and some of his men were escaping so he chased after them. Tired of her feeble attack, Taipan killed the twin with her own sword which angered F. Tarkentin whom rushed towards Taipan but met a surprise when he got hit in the face by Taipan and he saw stars. Taipan, the number one top assassin, was invincible. Smoke tried to shoot at him but was knocked down to the floor. As he wants to end Smoke's life, a half-dead Mamba twin shot at Taipan which hit him and in retaliation blasted the twin's brains out. Echidna with his two bodyguards were on the run from the chaos behind them. Having confidence that they were on their way to safety but was met with a surprise as Dave killed Echidna's men. Echidna told regular Dave that he knows nothing of the drone strike on Rankin's life, that he swears that someone was trying to set him up. But before Dave could know what was happening, Fingerman shot Echidna in the head, wasting all his bullets on him. As soon as Taipan heard the gunshot, knowing his boss had been killed, he fled and left the scene. Rankin was grateful for their sacrifice in saving his life, and no one was listening to regular Dave for he believed Echidna's testimony. But Fingerman told him that at the point of death, people will say anything not to die. F. Tarkentin was disappointed in himself for being knocked out and sincerely, he is still feeling the effect of Taipan's punch. Now, Rankin was showing appreciation to Maxwell Bishop for all his help and was sorry that he did not find the killer of his lover. But Maxwell Bishop told him to hold that thought for he has a suspect. Then he left Rankin and walked up to smoke asking if she is all right giving her advice about their profession as killers and let her know that just because you are great at killing doesn't make the people you love safe from other killers especially those killers who can make impossible shots staring hard at chad fingerman